And interior wise, I'll go through that later. Lah, yeah. Hi guys, so today I'm at our own Western Motorsports workshop and I'm very excited to show you a new development in my car. So, this is a 2009 BMW E93 M3. So we, told, we, we test drove this car we looked at it, we looked at the condition, we did an inspection at our own workshop by some other spots as you can see. So yes, this is the car that I'm getting. Okay, uh, initially it looks like a lot of things need to be changed and it, it does appear that way and it will be that way. A lot of things need changing, for example the rims, the tire sizes are all kind of like uh, there's, there's four tires and three different sizes and uh, four different brands. So this stuff like that that we need to change, obviously the fog lamps, this and that, everything needs to be changed cosmetically. But the most impressive thing is that, of course, the convertible roof still works and the interior looks pretty damn good. The interior looks pretty damn good for this car. Right, nothing, nothing too horror story like, nothing straight out from a horror story. All right, and yes, we checked out the engine. Everything looks to be in salvageable condition. All right, it's not bad condition. It's in a little bit of work needed condition, and that is my new project for this car. All right, I'm so excited. This is my first ever V8. Car. Uh, I'm letting go of my V40 as you guys all know and yeah this is it this is it this is my new car this is my new car this is the car that I'm bringing to Evo in Duro Super excited for this car. Yes. So that's a short little update of my car. We estimate it will take around a month or more, depending on part sourcing and getting things fixed and they're getting it tested with the whole uh, transactional part of a uh, of car owner transferring this and that. We expect it to be done in around a month and a half la like, conservative estimate. So that I cannot sleep for one month, man. Oh my god. Okay. So let me talk you through some of the things that I'm gonna change. Obviously, this needs to go. Spoiler in black will remain. The exhausts, the exhaust double pipes, double twin pipes, we will need to polish them up. And that will be one thing to do. The lamps at the back, uh, some slight cracking on the right side, left side seems to be scratched up and that will need to be changed. Rims need to go. I'm considering either the M2 competition rims or the M4 competition rims painted in black. Tires, we got that sorted. We're getting Pirelli's. And interior wise, I'll go through that later. Lah, yeah. Okay. This needs to be touched up as well. We can get a new one. Just remove, slot in, that's okay. The fog lamps and the headlights, we will need to get them polished up. And then let's see how the condition is. Because they look not in bad shape. They just look quite dirty. So we'll get them washed and polished up and see if that's okay. 
Next up is the kidney grill. This will probably need to be changed. It's in, it is plasticky, it's, it's black, and it's, it's sturdy, and it just looks like a mess. Okay. Lamps, headlamps here as well. Rims, it's a full set. Gotta change that. And on to the interior. Okay, interior, what needs to change? First of all, I'm gonna change these uh, steering, the steering leather. I'm gonna change it. I'm thinking I can go with half Alcantara, either on the top or bottom or the left and right. Alcantara, Alcantara. And then these stitching will remain as the BMW M Sport stitching. All right? And things that really need to be changed is the leather as well. This was the original Merino leather. It's okay. It's in okay condition, but I want to change it. Uh, it's, it's my car. I want to change it to something similar to the Bentley GT, uh, Bentley GT two-tone, where there's outer black and there can be a little bit brown in the center. And that brown is cross diamond stitch. So if you can imagine, cross diamond stitch over here, black over here, and this is in brown. That will be pretty good. I think that will be a really, really good interior to work with. So I can color code this with the leather here as well. This can be brown and color coding with this part with the M stitching. So that is some interior changes that can be made. The dials, instrument dials seem to be okay condition, so I'm not gonna change that too much. Maybe get them cleaned. That is all. Yep. Yep. The gear knob will need to be changed. Not change out, but just slight cleaning up and that will be all good. Of course. That is just the first round of changes. The first round of changes uh, and repairs will mostly be repairs, right? It will mostly be getting the car back into working condition, making sure all the brakes, all the ABS pumps, all the steering racks, all the engine mounts, absorbers, everything that is related to the engine and safety that will need to change. Now, I know of an issue that is very, 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 very popular with this generation of E9X BMWs, which is the corn rod bearings in the engine. Uh, we have checked and driven the engine. It is so far okay. So I'm gonna hold up on that change for now until the next round of service and repairs, and then I'll get them done during that round. Because once you access the engine, it becomes very, very heavy of a workload. And that's something that uh, I don't think is as necessary yet. Get everything changed, get the lubes all good, recommended lubes and oils and etc. Drive it and then kind of feel the car out before I decide to change it. The next round of changes, there'll be a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Something that needs to be changed is also the paint. The paint will have to go. Um, I don't really like this blue. I am going to change it to either, either the Atlantis blue color of the M2, the modern M2 competitions, or it will be in that copper red uh, BMW color, right? It can either look like this E30 right here, which is in that beautiful Atlantis blue, or it can be in the copper red kind of BMW signature color. So that is something that needs to be worked on, the rims will get painted and back and oh, I'm so excited for this car! Alright, that's it for today. I'm very very excited for this car. Alright, cheers guys. Bye bye.